Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading to Goodwill to do some thrift shopping to see if I can find any neat items to pick up to resell in either my Etsy or eBay store. So let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing I saw was this really beautiful blue and green bowl. It is a more modern piece and I like it for myself, honestly. I didn't get it because it was a little expensive and I didn't really like the silver glitter on the bottom. It was a little odd to me. <laughs> they have this really pretty Delphi to blue ginger jar here. It did have some weird markings on the back that didn't seem like it would come off. So unfortunately I had to leave that behind, but that was super neat. I did not pick these up, but I thought they were pretty cute. They had a set of three here for a dollar. Someone had handmade these little clowns. Some of them were coming apart a little bit, but I thought they were pretty adorable. This is a nice Mikasa coffee mug here in the cornflower design. As you can see, the inside has some weird kind of crazing on the bottom of it. And they had a set of two there. This one was in good condition, but they had $2 priced on each of them and I wasn't going to get, you know, just one mug. I'm trying to do better and only pick up sets because I feel like individual mugs just don't sell super well. This is a beautiful Andre Ponchi stone crest plate and I really like to pick up a set of two plates at least to resell. They were asking $4 for it as well, but it would have been really pretty on a plate gallery wall. Here's a tip if you ever find yourself looking at breakables with only one hand to use. Definitely take off any lids first and set those down gently so you can check it all out and you can always put it back after, right? So that's what I usually do. There's some weird funky stain on the inside of that that I didn't want to mess with but it was pretty. Seemed to be a little bit on the newer side as well though. Something piqued my interest underneath here. I love hand-painted ceramic pieces. You guys know that that watch my channel and are subscribed. And this was just a beautiful, beautiful plate. These I actually passed up on last week. I did end up getting these this week, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the haul at the end of this video. This here was a really neat Easter kind of candy dish, and I thought it was really cool. It seemed to be a hand-painted ceramic piece. There was no kind of markings on it, but that's kind of what it looked like. This again is a hand-painted ceramic mug, and it kind of had that shamrock on it. I was kind of contemplating whether I should get it because of the upcoming St. Patrick's Day. I looked at the vase section and I saw this orange vase. I was like, no way, I've never seen an orange vase before. And of course it was plastic, so total fake out there. <laughs> I thought it was potentially glass. I don't really see the plastic ones too often. And the last few times I've gone, I've been grabbing plastic ones off the shelf because I'm just so used to them being glass. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. And then I'm like, went wrong. <laughs> Not so much into the plastic. I'm loving all the purple decor I've been seeing lately. It's something I never used to see and it's been popping up a lot more, so very cool. I really love this pottery vase here and they were asking $3 for it, I believe, so very gorgeous. They were asking $10 for the full set of three of these canisters here, and I absolutely love the mustard yellow color to them. I got really excited when I saw that the price was not too bad, and you can kind of see it was worn on the bottom. It kind of looked like metal on the bottom, and then the overall feel of it didn't really feel like metal, so I wasn't quite sure what the material was of it. I took them off the shelf and I looked through them pretty well. I had to sit in my cart for a while and had to you know, do a better inspection. Unfortunately, I had to put them back because the inside was kind of this plastic and it was pretty scratched up. 
I wouldn't feel comfortable putting food in it. If you were just using it for something other than food, maybe it'd be okay, but I just didn't want to risk it, so. They had this beautiful Mikasa bud vase there. They had $3 marked on it. These are currently listed around $15 on eBay. I saw a couple listed, no solds. I am such a sucker for pretty lidded candy dishes like this. I think this one was super gorgeous with the pink roses and they weren't asking too much for it. I love the look of this soup taurine or punch bowl, whatever it was. It was pretty big though, it was quite the beast. I didn't really want to have to figure out how to ship it. <laughs> so as you can see, the store was pretty picked over. I was able to pick up a few things and I will go ahead and share them with you. And so, let's see, out of this lot, this was probably my favorite here. It's this beautiful rose plate. They have yellow roses and it is a hand-painted ceramic piece. You are able to hang it up on the wall. It has a little lip here, so you can do that. Very, very beautiful. This was marked $3 and I should be able to get around 28 to 36 for it. The next thing I got, I actually saw last week and I passed on it. I just wasn't feeling like picking up dishware that day. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It just depends on my mood, I guess. <laughs> but for whatever reason, I didn't feel like it that day and I passed on these. They sell for okay, between five to six dollars per plate. And I like the price. They had these taped together for only three dollars. So I knew I could make some money off of them. They go for, like I said, about five to six dollars a plate. So about 28 to 36 dollars I should be able to get for the set of four plus shipping. And these are her side Rose of Sharon dinner plates. They are hand painted Japan stoneware. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know I am no stranger to picking up vintage Avon items. And when I saw this peacock bottle, I just could not pass it up. I love the color to it. I feel like peacocks are pretty popular. People think they're pretty cool. And it does have Avon labeled here. It is empty, which is nice because I cannot stand <laughs> the smell of vintage Avon perfume. They don't tend to keep very well. It seems like they always smell the same, right? But this is in pretty good condition and I just thought it was super cute. Obviously you can use it for decor. I think Avon is a company that's super brilliant. They just made such unique packaging. That is why they stand the test of time and people just want their empty bottles, right? So it's very cute. This guy here sells between 12 to $16 plus shipping. So I will be listing him up on my eBay. This cat, I went back and forth whether I wanted to get it or not. I thought it looked kind of neat. I like that it had the blue throughout it. And I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be a ball of yarn or a pumpkin just because of the orange color to it. But I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat. It kind of has a little bit of yellow ing down through here and a little bit of orange. I don't know if it's paint runoff or just a way that they had glazed it or whatnot. But it's super cute. And... The thing that made me question it the most was the price tag on it. They did have $6. It's a pretty good size. It's decent weight. So ultimately, I figured I can make enough to justify paying the 6 bucks for it. I should be able to get about 20 to maybe 28 for him. So, you know, it's enough. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cute, and I figured someone would enjoy him. So I think it was worth the try. I did pick up one coffee mug here. It is a vintage Corning Ware mug in the Old Town Blue pattern, which is a Pirates compatible pattern. It's one of the original five that people like to collect. And by people, I mean me. I like to collect it as well, but I have plenty. So I did get this to resell. I got this for a dollar and they only sell about four to five dollars each. But I have a few others that I'm going to lot this with, so I just went ahead and picked it up. I thought, you know, it was a good price. You get a better price when you can sell it as a lot, so it was definitely worth to pick it up to have a nice set of four to list. This here, I was hesitant. I wasn't quite sure if I should get it. They didn't price $2. I don't think it's going to sell for a whole lot. 
which is why I was hesitant. I don't know any maker on it. I think it's just a very heavy pressed glass and it has this kind of faux stained glass window here. And I believe what you do, it's all hollow here. You can put one of those flameless candles and set that over and it'll kind of illuminate out of it. So I'm sure it looks really pretty and I figured someone would definitely like to use this around Christmas time, probably especially. So I decided to get it. I think it'll probably go somewhere between 10 to $15 plus shipping. I paid $2 for this beautiful Indonesian glass candy dish. It has this kind of diamond cut clear glass on it, a little bit of a ribbon detailed edge, and they do have some hearts with pink roses inside of the hearts, which I thought were super pretty. So I figured it would go pretty well. It's a nice little candy dish and it definitely could go year round. It doesn't have to just be seasonal. I should be able to get about $22 plus shipping for this. I am always on the hunt for purple decor and so I was excited when I saw this purple bud vase here. It's a nice little pottery piece and it has a little bit of brown. I think it's all purple but it's like a brown toned purple towards the bottom here so very pretty. It is not marked or signed or anything and I don't believe it's super old. I'm not sure the age of it honestly but I'll be listing it up on eBay anyway and where it's purple and a nice little pottery piece I think it should still do okay. Probably can get about 18 to 22 dollars plus shipping for it. Let me know in the comments below what item I shared with you today, either in the thrift along with me or the thrift haul was your favorite. And I am going to share part two to the shopping trip tomorrow. I'll do it the same way with a little bit of thrift of me and a thrift haul. So let me know in the comments below if you liked this style of video better than separating the thrift of me's and thrift hauls. I'm kind of just playing around with it a little bit and see, you know, seeing how people will take to it. So we'll see and try it this way for a couple of videos and see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And we will catch you in tomorrow's Thrift Along With Me and Thrift Haul combo again. We'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.